What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Nerds on the Block. Right now, me and Shamar are about to get into Mortal Kombat! <laughs> so we just finished watching this film and just, wow. Like, obviously, I, what I was expecting from this movie, I got something completely different. Obviously, I was hoping for the best and like, wow, like good freaking job what the wow. hell did i just watch yeah leagues <laughs> leagues 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 away from what i mean let's be honest i'm as i was cautiously optimistic i'm sure a lot of people were but i'm sure more people were just like well here's another shit show of a movie just gonna just go down the pipeline and video game you know, license forgotten i mean rightfully show people have every reason to think about it especially coming off of the uh you know the last original attempt at Mortal Kombat, which Annihilation. obviously, you know, yeah. yeah. No. But uh, the first one, obviously, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I'm sure a lot of people thought it was good for its time. Yeah. They did a lot of things right. They could have done a lot of things better, better. but considering, you know, the, the time, time it was made and just, you know, Paul Wes Anderson was in his bag back in the day. I don't know what happened when he made the Resident Evil movies. And then Monster Hunter was just another testament to of like, like, don't touch these what? licenses. Just, <laughs> just anyway, Simon McQuaid or M McQuaid, you, amazing job. Mm -hmm. My hats oh, off he, to you. He. Like honestly, like even the things that he took liberties to change, it's like it still was respects okay with it. the was source okay. material, right? Yeah. Like, and again, as a Mortal Kombat fan, walking into this, we understood what we were getting into, like the violence or. What some people are talking about online is just yeah, like so it's overbearing. I'm I didn't like, find that at all. Um, quite frankly, it was actually. I mean, obviously, I'm not knocking on the movie for this. Quite frankly, there wasn't enough. No. Yeah. If I'm being honest, there wasn't enough. It was there. Yeah, because like I think it? those critics set an expectation that we were gonna get more. Obviously, going in, like I was just hoping for like a solid story, reasons for them to fight, and like for more combat to ensue. Scenes, like that's more, it. Let's be honest. We're there for the fights and the fatalities. Let's that's be it. Honest. Well, come on, like and. Quite frankly, I mean, there wasn't as many fatalities as I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. wasn't as gruesome as I was hoping it was going to be. And it definitely wasn't as long as it deserved to be. So if we're just getting the, like... Those the, things out the, of the way? The negatives out of the way, because there's a lot more good things to talk about. Yeah. I, I wish the movie was a, at least a half an hour longer. Yeah, lengthwise, I think there's some things that could have been explained, like even just going a little bit more into the lore. Like there's some elements where they yeah, do they touch on like things. Yeah, they kind of like sprinkle on it. And it's yeah. like, okay. And then obviously you put your knowledge together. If I'm a new person to Mortal Kombat, I want to get some decent lore out of this. They, it definitely made it for the fan. Touch on the lore between you know, characters and moments. And, yeah, there's things like whatever. even with like Liu Kang's like backstory, like sometimes like even just throwing like a little montage, like how that went down. Like yeah. those are the extra time that it could have been allotted to. And I would have loved to see that stuff. That again, it's not really a knock. It's just like, it's just a lack of potential where just, the film could have went. Like, yeah, especially yeah. with the music. Oh my God. I'm, the music I'm, is definitely what I was music? just about to bring up. Like how, like for the first film, um, the music was so prevalent throughout. Like everybody remembers those tracks. Nobody can tell me you can't remember the, the reptile the theme. theme. Come on. Like just saying the reptile theme, I'm sure it's playing in your head right now. We care about one of the best soundtracks in fighting games, like in general like mortal kombat's and definitely up that's there. one thing i get like the, the movie, movie. Gee, yeah the first movie came correct with the music every fight yeah. scene had amazing music especially the one fight scene in the original movie where johnny cage luke king and sonya and then they're in that one little room there and then the guy try to square up on them and then you hear the like, test your mind and then i'm getting chills just thinking just about thinking it. about just it thinking right about now it. i'm getting chills and those like, are moments in the movie where they could have for one, just played the original theme, which, I mean, spoilers ahead, not really a spoiler in my opinion. They don't really play the original theme to that level. No, all, they they don't, right. which is which is a misstep, I think. Like again, like even though they have like this like remixed version, they don't it's, even utilize that either. No, it's not. like it's like why not? And like, then you get to the end of the movie and then it's like amazing music just back to back to back to back. I had uh, I had a better time listening to the music during the, the credits. credits than I, I'm sitting there dancing my ass off and going nuts I'm like over the credits music. And I'm what like, a missed opportunity because it's like it only adds what? more weight. It adds more like frantic action to it when you have it's, a soundtrack that like adds more elevates. And more, yeah, it elevates the fighting. Like that's all we really want as fans too, right? Like that's just one thing I do think there was a bit of a misstep from the Mortal Kombat film. 
but like other things like for me like obviously i don't want to get too much into spoiler territory but there's the essence of mortal kombat it's there it's it's there but the reasoning kind of like they went over it like they were like uh yeah they kind of skimmed we're gonna do it differently and it's like even in the first movie they found a way to still execute the main reason of what mortal kombat is and i don't think this movie did that so for me like that was like that was like my biggest uh i'm not cool with that but again like he still cared so much about the characters like even what he's doing with cole this is a big worry walking into this film is like is cole really gonna like take like at the forefront no he did it like if that was your worry walking into this film Cole isn't like the yeah, one yeah. end all I be all of the film. By, by the isn't. end of the by the end of the movie, I was like, you know, I didn't mind that Cole was in this movie. I yeah, didn't mind it at all. Like, I actually liked the character. Like I, I liked the character. Like, and then he didn't end up taking the forefront, which is what I was worried about. I was like, not only did we not get Johnny Cage, but we had this random ass guy named Cole. And are you going to tell me he's going to be at center stage over characters that we actually care about that we do have established? you know, relationship with. Yeah. You know, so, but thankfully they didn't do that. They did a good job. Like even like the fact that this movie has Kung Lao and the original didn't, it's like, it's little liberties that this director took into account yeah. when making this yeah. story. Yeah. And like a surprise, like for me in this film was Kano, like out of nowhere. Yeah, Kano, I didn't think Kano I was going to like him. very entertaining in that movie because I mean, I think he had to be two characters. He had to be Johnny Cage in a sense where he had to give that Johnny Cage quick wit and comedic relief. Yep. And then he was himself, you know, there's no surprise there. Kano does what Kano does ultimately. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, Kano surprised the, the actor, the way he was written, like it was all married together very well. So I think you yeah. guys are going to enjoy because he has a lot of lines that are just like, wow, like <laughs> just keep talking, man. Just whatever this guy says was just like. It was gold to me. It was gold. It. And you said it while watching the film. I think this is my favorite interpretation of okay, the character. In general. In yeah. general. Like, I just think they nailed his essence. And they even went further with his character to make it be like, you know, you know, I actually like this guy. I've actually never liked Kano. He was yeah. the guy that you beat up in the video just, games. I just, you can't it was like, oh, why, get this guy, yeah, get get this guy out of here. Sony Blade, end this. <laughs> but like, they did a really good job of giving every character enough motivation for you to care about them. Like, I, I was expecting some more, like a, a deeper dive into the whole lore of what Mortal Kombat is, the essence of what makes each realm different. Yeah. You know, and they could have easily done that within a montage or a quick little flashback of, you know, depending like, on the conversations they, they were having, they could have like played it off that, that way. Yeah, they, they definitely could have added more to that. Uh, Cause like, I just feel like you can't expect all fans to fill in those gaps. Like there's some people that don't even know certain characters yeah. in Mortal Kombat. Some people just remember fatality. Like they remember like whoopsie or toasty. Again, I never even knew they said that back in the day anyways, but yeah, just like, it's, it's little things like that. It's still whoopsie. Everybody, gets to do, I'm not gonna say what, obviously, but everybody does their signature moves for the most part. Um, costumes look great. The the fighting is amazing, you know, and they there's a decent amount of fight scenes in there. So that was one worry. I was like, how, many, how much fight scenes are actually gonna be in this movie? It's gonna be more talking and world building and less fighting, but they did a good job kind of marrying everything together and tethering everything together. For the most part, enough for yeah. me to be like, okay, you know what? I didn't mind this, and I'm down to see a sequel. The way things kind of like they went together, yeah, went together. But like, I think my biggest my biggest thing was this needed to be three hours minimum. Like, I feel like we're at a point now where two hours doesn't cut it anymore, for or big, even under two hours. Like this yeah. is like this is a film that's that's not even two hours long. These and comic book movies, superhero movies, movies just adapted off of things that we love and hold here and dear. Um, they need to be at least two and a half hours, if not three, because there's so much world building to be done and it can be done in three hours if you pace it properly. That's all it takes. Yeah. Again, like you're, you're coming here to watch this movie for the fighting and like Mortal Kombat has one of the best lore. So like, why not explore that? It just feels like a missed opportunity uh, for a film of this uh, stature. And like, again, like I, I did enjoy what I saw. It, he still put this love and care into the film. No, it's you like, can hey, see like, it. You can he, see it. he himself, like, understands these characters. And, like, even if he did take liberties to change some things, it's still respecting the source material. Yeah. So, like, even what he did with Scorpion. Scorpion and Sub-Zero's story has been retold a few times already. Yeah. And 
the way he did it, it was kind of straightforward and simple, but I liked it. Like, yeah. And, and I could see the potential of where it could go mm-hmm. and what he can do moving forward. So, you know, I was a little weary about it at first, but by the end I was like, oh, you know what, I'm okay with this. You know, I, I'm curious to see what they do going forward with this uh, storyline between Scorpion and Zub-Z. Even when you look at like, hey, like we have the video games, we have so many different materials to like source back to and be like, hey, like I remember it being this way. It's like, it's okay when you do it in a respectful way. It's not to say like, oh no, screw that, screw that. And I feel like a lot of people in Hollywood do do that just because they think like their idea is the million dollar idea. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not. Like we just want to see if you're going to change something, like something like Liu Kang's like backstory, they, they made it make sense. And it's like, okay, I get it. You would go here and do this. And, and why, what led him to the point where and, you see and, him in the film? And just Period. the idea like, of like the, the symbols that they get. Mm-hmm. I didn't mind that. And I actually like the concept. The it's way, better than the uh, Annihilation. Yeah, like yeah, those dragons yeah, yeah, just yeah. like. It's like the bitch. <laughs> yeah, they basically took, took that wow. and then they made a better version of it. And the way it, you know, the way they go about it, it's so simple, but yet you can do so much with it. It just creates another, like another nice little layer to the Mortal Kombat movie universe that they can do so much with. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Yeah. The one thing I didn't like was what with Jax, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I like how his ability was to grow because obviously we know he loses his arms he gets metallic arms but the way they go about it is yeah yeah. it's definitely like it's a movie like they do like this like trope that like it didn't work same with me i didn't like how sonia started to unlock her abilities either like it's just like with those two i think kind of like they they didn't make maybe i don't know it's either they couldn't think of anything or they kind of just wanted to again keep it as simple and straightforward as possible and this is but uh, you know what case simple and straightforward doesn't work sonia and Jax, the way they they have their shining moment i was like "Mm," i was expecting a little more and there's so many things they could have probably done to make it a lot better and it's hard to say right now because they're trying to avoid spoilers. yeah we don't want to spoil the film but yeah it's just ultimately yeah just the way that just knowing the characters and know what doing what they could have done it's it's very disappointing that they didn't go the extra mile and actually try and figure something out so it like especially because they've done it with other characters yeah in the movie and then they kind of like mm, well you guys are army people so but yeah, I feel like they overlooked them because they're the more like earth realm yeah. characters, but like still, like make it make sense in the confines of the story how you've laid it out. Definitely go to Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, like no, you, you have to see it regardless of like if you're seeing some really negative feedback on like the violence and all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, it's still worth a watch. Yeah. Even if you're squeamish to gore no, and all that still, stuff, it's, it's still it's, not it's still worth overbearing. It, and it's definitely one of the better, I mean, there's not a lot of competition out there. It's definitely one of the better video no. game movies that yeah. I've watched. Top 10 for sure. Yeah. And I don't even know if I can make a list of 10. So I'd say top five. Top five, there's not a lot. Sure. <laughs> there really isn't. For sure. So uh, like, yeah. yeah, definitely worth a watch. Yeah. If you had to put a number on it, Shamar, what would you think Mortal Kombat deserves? I would say I'd give it a 7.5 generous, yeah. generous eight. Yeah. You know, give him bonus points just for obviously surprising, surprising you a little bit me in with, some other with something that was a lot better than obviously we were all worried about, right? With yeah. right, rightfully should so. So yeah. I'd say seven point five generous eight. Yeah. Okay. At, at the most. <laughs> so at the most. So seven point five. So for me, yeah, I would say seven point five as well. So we're basically uh, even keel here. So again, that's still a solid rating for a film. It does not mean it is bad. It does not mean like it's not worth your time. 7.5 is still really good for yeah. a movie that is a video game movie and has so many things like going so against many things, it. So yeah. like they could have did wrong. They yeah. did, they did, they did a, a solid lot job. Than I thought they were going to do. Yeah. The foundation is there for sequels and for this to be a, like an overgrowing franchise that again can bring in more people to the Mortal Kombat universe. Those were our impressions and our review for the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. Go see it. If you liked our review, please like this video, share it, comment down below if you've seen it. Let us know what you thought about the film and subscribe to our channel to get more content from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Yo, are you still here, dog?
Yo, subscribe to the channel, bro. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay locked on all of our content when it drops. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, bro. Seriously, like it's so easy, bro. Just click the button, bro.